What's up, everybody? Just stepped out of the bar in one of the most thrilling games that I have seen in quite some time. It's amazing that we're just a few months away from Cody Parkey ending our season. And we sat there and didn't know what was going to be made of the kicking situation. We brought in 30 guys. But you know what? All along, I was undaunted. You can check my Twitter feed. You can check all this stuff. I said that Eddie P is my guy. Anybody who can walk into the University of Florida and be like, hey, I want number 15. I don't care that the greatest college football player of all time wore it. I want number 13 or number 15, whatever. You know exactly what I mean. I'm excited. This was a huge game. So many emotions going on. I'm looking at the fact that we were going to go 0-2. And that's right. I said we. Looking at the fact we were about to go 0-2, everybody in the bar was making fun of us. Some guys got a bunch of wind in their jaw because my kids have Jay Cutler jerseys. I don't even care. But it looked like all hope was lost. We were going to start 0-2. It was going to be miserable. I was going to have to wear it. I even predicted that the Broncos were going to have a terrible season. I was. I knew the Bronco fans were getting ready to flood my, my mentions and to come in and be like, oh, where are your bears now? Oh, where? Do it for TJ. Guess what? The Bears are one and one, and I will take that. Would I have loved to beat in the Packers on opening night? You're damn right I would have. That's exactly what I would have wanted. But you know what? It's okay. We're one and one. We're one and one, and let's be honest. We faced, and I try to get my finger out of the frame there, we faced two pretty good defenses. We really did, and there's nothing to be. Hey, hats off to Green Bay. We saw it today. They look like a pretty good defense. Hey there, Bears won. She doesn't even care, but you know what? I care. Bears, listen, they played a good defense in Green Bay. They go to Denver. Denver has one of the best home field advantages in September because teams cannot play in that altitude. And you're coming into a game where you're gassed, you're a little bit winded, and all that stuff. And you know what? You go out there and you get a dub. Get a win in Denver this early in the season against that good of a defense, that's impressive. And now, you know what, now we can regroup, we can get back together and see what happens. I'm now much more encouraged. I was ready to give up the season. I was going to start selling stuff. I don't know what I was going to do, but you know what? Eddie P came through when we needed it the most, and I, I just did beside myself. Listen, the Bears aren't perfect. This offense needs a lot of work and they need a lot of help. But that defense is legit. I know they allowed the Broncos to drive down the field twice at the end of the game. That's not great, but you know what? You're playing in altitude. You're playing in a game script where these teams are going to get back and they're going to drive down the field. But you know what? When we needed to win the game, and take that, all you haters. Like, oh, Mitch Trubisky's never let – Mitch Trubisky has led this team back before. All right, he should have won that game against Philadelphia. We would have gone out and beat the shit out of the Rams. And you know what? We would have gone to the Super Bowl. Would we have beaten the Patriots? I don't know. But here's the thing. One and one, I could have sworn it would be two and oh, and that's fine. I'll take one and one right now. When it looked dire, that team came back. Huge plays, huge cojones on the kicker. All right? Let's go, bear down.